Amber, these pictures presented by Washington and Kiev as evidence of Russia's involvement in Ukraine. Well, it turns out one of the shots, which was labeled as being taken in Russia, was actually taken in Ukraine. And that's what the photographer who took it says. And the U.S. State Department admits the error. But now that the materials don't prove anything, they're getting much less attention in the media. As Anastasia Churkin in our reports. Remember the old days when major publications and media took the time to get facts straight before making headlines out of questionable evidence? It might be high time to wave those days goodbye. On Monday, the New York Times printed a lead piece linking masked men in eastern Ukraine to Russia. With photos featuring unidentified men, the article claimed that the men photographed in Ukraine were also previously seen in Russian settings. These pictures, initially provided by Kiev to the OSCE monitoring eastern Ukraine, were used to build a case alleging proof of Russian men present on the ground. The State Department echoed this, saying that this further confirms Moscow's involvement, essentially disregarding questions about whether this evidence would ever stand in a real court of law. We see in the photos that have been, again, in international media, on Twitter, and publicly available, yeah. is that there are individuals who uh, visibly appear to be tied to uh, Russia. Well. We've said that publicly a countless number of times. The photographer behind the pictures said, wait a second, my pictures used without permission were actually taken in Ukraine. So where are the statements that they are linked to Russia coming from? Shortly after, we saw the State Department take a step back, acknowledging that these claims could have been incorrect, explaining that the pictures were only used in a draft packet put together to be used during talks in Geneva. The New York Times, too, admitted that the photos may in fact merit questioning, but this buried deep into the paper. In a short piece on page, let's see, page 9 of Wednesday's issue, yet another example that in a predispositioned anti-Russian bias, fact-checking is not as crucial as making a point that fits the chosen narrative, the key questions simply unanswered before conclusions are drawn. Instead, a game of he said, she said continues. Anastasia Churkina, RT, New York.